How you doing? My name is Terrence Pop. I've seen you before. You're the asshole on TV. Saturday night, had a couple beers with my friends. We're just jacking around uh, with the camera. Starting a new website called Re uh, Redonkulous.com. Uh, uh, basically, it's a comedy site. Uh, if it's wrong, ridiculous, it's redonkulous. Send it to us and uh, we'll post it. Uh, I also uh, work for the Army. Uh, actually, I'm in the Army, but you know, who's counting? Uh, and I've developed over the years a strange uh, way of communicating. And uh, my own soldiers have told me that I need to clarify my code that I use to uh, talk to them because they don't seem to understand. Be sure to drink your oval tea, son of a bitch. Now, the reason I came up with the code, I don't cut out a lot of the swearing. That's, eh, I'm getting older, I'm trying to clean up my ways, so I just reverted it down to a code. So I'm gonna break it down for you right here. Stand by. All right, the human being comes in two models. Every model has got a slot A. All right, your slot A is your mouth, your ball bumper, your cock holster. I like where this is going. Now we all know that things travel from point A to point B. So everyone, Got a slot B. All right, now this is where the difference comes in. This is the model D. He's got the slot A, the slot B, and if you notice here, peg D. Peg D runs off of hydraulics. I'm sure we all know, at least half of us know how that all works. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. C comes with a slot C here. This particular model also comes with additional dials and switches that require turning and flicking from time to time. No shit. You know, I take the, the C from the first letter of an acronym. Can't understand normal thinking. <gasps> Model D and slot C like to upgrade. This is where it gets tricky. The peg D can go into Slot A. We all know what that is. I think so, Blaine. But isn't that why they invented tube socks? Peg D can go into slot C. Of course, all the, usually, you know, men like that kind of thing. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? But also, Peg D can go into slot B. That's usually uh, an alcohol-related incident, an odd request. But why should I? because I'm going to say, please. You can also go for this, which I call the open option position. What are you gonna do? Now this is just the literal upgrades that we're talking about here. Okay, if I don't spell it correctly, I don't care. I have dysgraphia, so I'm not really a good speller. Fuck off. I don't know the meaning of the word. Now we're going to go into the figurative world. Say you come home from work and you walk through the door and you see your 16 year old daughter and her boyfriend, the holder of the peg D, doing an upgrade. Plot thickens. This particular individual slips one by the goalie Guess what? He's literally and figuratively disapplied his peg to your slot B by knocking up your daughter. I'm pregnant. I would take my peg F, which is one of my feet, because we're now we're figuratively now, we're not literally. And I would apply it to his slot B. Up his ass. You understand? Do you? Alright, another example. Stand by. You come home from work, and your old lady has her slot A on someone else's peg D. There's a word for that. I think it's hooker. You're a hooker! Now, this individual is receiving slot A, but in reality, he's actually hitting you in your slot B. Consider that a divorce. Which equals... 
one half of all your shit. Ah! That's how it goes. Are there any questions? <laughs>